It is very important as a college student to create and maintain a simple organization structure for all of your college courses. In doing so, you should be able to easily save, print, and even move your files from quarter to quarter. This short tutorial will show you how to create a simple folder structure for all of your college courses. So the first thing that you might want to do is right click on the desktop, or this might be on your flash drive, and go to new, and then create a new folder. So this might be the college name if you're taking classes at more than one campus. So I might say EDCC and hit enter. So now I've created a folder on my desktop for all courses and all of their content. If I double click on that folder, it will open up and this will open up the finder window or the explorer. So in here, I can do essentially the same thing, but at this point, I need to look at what classes I'm taking as a student and create a folder or a subfolder now for those courses. So I'm going to right click here as well and again choose new and folder one more time. So let's say I'm taking English 100. I might say English 100 and hit enter. So now I have a subfolder called English 100 that lives under the folder EDCC. But let's say that's not the only class that I'm taking here on campus. So I might click one more time, uh, right click one more time and choose new folder again. I might be taking math 100 as well. And I'll right click one last time, hit new folder. And let's say I'm taking a visual communications class as well. All right, so now I have three folders that all live under or are a subfolder of EDCC. I'm going to go ahead and hop into English 100 by double clicking it. And you can see over on the left hand side here that on my desktop, I have a folder called EDCC and that under that folder are subfolders, one called English 100, Math 100, and then lastly, Visco 110. So I'm inside of English 100 now. And here, I'm going to go ahead and right click and say new folder. And I might call this week one and then hit enter. And I might repeat that process for different weeks throughout the quarter. So the theory here is that as the class progresses from week to week, I, need, I just need to hop back over to that appropriate week to find whatever content that was taught or given to me during that week. So during week one, I might expect to find the syllabus. Uh, during week two, I might expect to find maybe some homework projects. And then maybe three might be an essay that I created for the class. So I would essentially repeat this same exact process for every single one of those subfolders that I've created here under the folder EDCC. That's it. Remember that deciding your folder structure early in your college courses will be the key to understanding, maintaining, and retrieving files for all future courses you take. Thank you for watching this short tutorial created by the Distance Learning Office at Edmonds Community College.